Hey everyone, this is Jen and I am back. I've been under the weather for a while. Summer's been so busy, kids being home and you know, being on vacation and now I'm back. And today I am so excited to share with you our pool landscaping reveal. You know, it's been a year. We've waited for this to be done. We started our pool project last year. We put it up but we didn't do any landscaping. It was late in the summer, so we decided to do it this year. And our contractor finally finished the landscaping and we were able to plant some plants around it. And so I'm super excited to share it with you all. And without further ado, let's get right to it. Okay guys, so tomorrow we are finally our contractor it's gonna come and do the retaining walls on our front around the pool. So right now it's just dirt. And so he's gonna put some pavers and then stones around the pool for drainage. And then the plan is to put plants around here. So I'm excited about that. And this is the pavers he's going to use so it's not really a, a lot this is it and this is the rocks or the stones Day two, and this is what it looks like. It's darker gray because of the rain yesterday or last night. So the bottom or the cap is not on yet. They just lay it on the top. It still needs to be glued, but it's pretty much done. And once it's finished, then I can start planting some um, plants over here on this side a little bit of landscaping not very much but I just want a little bit of plants on this side and I will let you guys see the finished project hey guys so this is the one we got from Lowe's what's it called it's called orange Edge. Um, this is the one that we got from Lowe's and this one I love this one I've never seen this kind of plant before it's gonna have that bluish greenish leaves it reminds me so much of olives and I love olive I would grow olives here but in PA that won't really survive and so this one is looks pretty good and I think it's a pretty good alternative to olive um, let me see. It's called distillium. I don't know if, not, if I'm saying that right, but I got this from Lowe's for like 28 bucks for a shrub, and we got three of those. And then this one, this one is a little different because it has that orange hue, which is very interesting. And it's called orange sedge. And so I like the, a little bit of um, difference between that and that, the color, that this will pop against the green. And so I'm pretty excited about that one. So we're gonna start putting or planting plants here. Gonna have to dig up some of this grass. 
So I, I'd like to start in the morning so it's not too hot, but actually the sun is out right now already. So not too big, so I'm like over here in the middle. That's kind of what we wanted to do. We'll see how it looks and I will show you the process. So the inspiration for this landscaping is like a California um, landscaping if you know that they have like coastal a little bit of desert feel and also modern so it's definitely more minimalist than you know um, I like the minimalist look So our inspiration for this backyard uh, landscaping or pool landscaping is the California style. Um, if you know California, if you followed any California um, landscaping, it's very, mo it's modern and kind of rustic as well. A little bit of coastal desert look mixed in Mediterranean there. It's minimalist. There's not a lot of... Um, flowering plants I would say it's more like the grassy look um, like the succulent looking ones and so that's kind of the inspiration for this I've been wanting to have olive we went to Italy and I'm like I want to have olive in my backyard but I've seen a lot of olive trees in California and it looks so good but unfortunately here we can't grow that and so I found this tree or bush I think yeah it's a shrub um, it can go at least to you can grow as tall as like three feet but it looks so similar to olive which I was so happy to see we went to Lowe's and I saw this one and I'm like yes this would be a perfect alternative to olive because it doesn't grow as big and we don't want anything big around the pool we want it to be lower on the lower side and so I'm going to share it with you guys.
um, above ground pool has had a bad rap because it always like cheap looking you know in our um, where we live we live next to a creek so in ground pool is not really an option I mean it is but since we live in the flood zone it will just get ruined or destroyed when if we had a flood and so we opted to go with above ground pool and I don't know if I'm going to keep this forever so this is like a semi permanent um, pool so that's why we wanted to um, make sure that this um, landscaping could also be turned into a fire pit in the long run when, if we get rid of the pool which I probably assume that we will when the kids move out that you know we won't be using it as much and that's what I like about this it's because it's not permanent we can change it up if we want to because it's above ground pool it's easier we can do it ourselves and so that's kind of the plan down the road long term it's probably going to be a fire pit or some kind of patio we'll put some pavers in and all that stuff but for now we want to enjoy the pool we've been using the pool all the time and my kids love it and you know they're always there almost every day me too and that's how I'm like a little darker than usual um, so today I want to show you that above ground pool doesn't have to be cheap cheesy looking you can have a background pool like contemporary um, I think of Scandinavian you know a lot of Scandinavian um, homes have some have a background pool and they make it look so nice so modern like it just blends with the landscaping and I love that and that's kind of what I wanted to do with this pool I want it to be modern not cheap looking so what I did is I look for inspiration for in ground pool back um, landscaping and it kind of takes some of the into our landscaping project don't get me wrong it's nothing fancy or anything it's very minimalist it's very simple and we are finally done still have some grass here that needs to be planted and here it is I love how it turned out I love the grass I think it's called orange sedge and this plant over here I love the contrast between the orange and the green and the black I think it looks good I don't know why my pool looks kind of green on the camera but it's actually blue have some geese here and I'm probably gonna add a little bit of solar lighting on here so it looks like light and bright at night just add a little bit some ambience to it chairs from Amazon and they're super cool I like them and they're metal they 
have a lot of these, but it's made with like bamboo or wood, but this is metal and I just think that they will last longer than wood. You guys thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed a tour or the reveal today and i will see you guys soon and thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it have a good one bye